Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute and fun crochet water balloons. These particular balloons I made um, during one of my live streams on Twitch and lots of viewers were asking me well how do you how do they hold the water? <laughs> well they don't hold the water like a traditional water balloon would of course. You simply dunk them into a bucket of clean fresh water and throw. Please make sure you supervise your children and um, make sure they're not throwing these at the face. So to make your crochet water balloons you're going to need some Bernat blanket yarn. It's really uh, soft and squishy and super absorbent and works great for these um, water balloons. You will need uh, an 8mm hook, a darning needle, a stitch marker and a pair of scissors. So we're going to start off by making a slip knot on our hook, like so, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. We're then going to join to that first chain to form a ring. Now you can use the um, magic circle method if you prefer. Okay, so next we're going to chain one. This does not count as a stitch. And now we're going to put eight single crochets into that ring. So the hook goes into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's one single crochet made. Hook goes into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now if you've worked over your tail as you've gone along, you can give that a little bit of a tug and it will tighten up that centre a little bit. Now we're not going to join to our first single crochet, we're actually going to be working in a spiral. So we're going to start round two by putting two single crochet into our first stitch. Put a uh, stitch marker into that first stitch to um, mark the start of the round. So we want one more single crochet in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put two single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So I will meet you back at the end of the round. So here we are at the end of round two. We now have 16 single crochets. So we're going to remove the stitch marker and start round three. We're going to put single crochet into that first stitch. Replace your marker and we're going to continue with a single crochet into every stitch around. So here we are at the end of round three. As you can see, it started to form a, um, a bowl shape. So we're going to continue and work three more rounds in exactly the same way with a single crochet in every stitch. Make sure you Move up your stitch marker at the beginning of the round. A single crochet in every stitch. And we're going to do this for three more rounds. So I'll meet you back when I've done that. And here we are at the end of round six. Your water balloon should look something like this. So now we're going to start making our decreases to get this nice uh, neck shape for the balloon. So let's go ahead and remove our stitch marker and we're going to single crochet two stitches together. So the hook goes into the stitch, pull up a loop, into the next stitch and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all of the loops. That's crochet two single crochets together. So we're going to pop our stitch marker back in that first stitch, and we're going to continue single crocheting two stitches together all the way around.
here we are at the end of the round and we're going to continue with the next round doing exactly the same we're going to single crochet two stitches together all the way around let's make our first decrease here and then we place our stitch marker so this can be a bit fiddly this round as you are going to end up with only four stitches can be a bit tricky getting those uh, getting the hook in to those stitches here this is the last decrease here and there we go that's the end of our last decrease round so now we're going to start increasing again to get this cute shape at the top of our balloon so we're going to remove our stitch marker and we're going to put two single crochet into that first stitch one and two don't forget to replace your stitch marker into the first stitch and then we're going to go ahead and put two single crochets into every stitch around Oops. again this can be a little tricky and fiddly here we go this is our last stitch so you'll end up with eight single crochet and then to finish off because we've been working in a spiral we're going to just remove that stitch marker and then put a slip stitch into that first stitch and there we go that's your finished water balloon so we're going to fasten off you want to leave quite a, a long tail because we're going to use this tail to wrap around the neck just to tighten it a bit to make that um, just to accentuate that shape so fasten, fasten off and then with a darning needle I like to just finish off this stitch here first And then you want to just uh, sew the end a little bit in, just put a couple of stitches inside so that it doesn't pull that top end of the neck down once you wrap the yarn round. Then you're going to take your needle through to the front or the back, whichever, and then you're going to wrap it round twice around the neck. Now you want to put it fairly tightly but not so tightly that break the yarn because this yarn is not as strong as um, some other yarns so you've gone around twice you're then going to go back through into the center of your balloon and then put another couple of stitches then just to secure the end and then you can put your needle through and then out through the other side of the balloon and then you can just trim that end off and there's your finished water balloon I'm sure your kids are going to love playing with these so this is just a plain one colour design I've also made uh, these helix striped balloons so these will be coming up in the next video so make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon bye bye now